Let's make a 322 megapixel image with my EN1 Mark II. Yes, you heard me right. 322 megapixels from a Micro Four Thirds camera. Photoshop has a very good new feature. It was just updated and they have this super resolution which will make your image four times bigger. And let's see how good that Sensei AI is. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I am a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And let's start straight away. I'm here in Tervasaari to make a few images for me to test how good the super resolution AI is. I will have a 25 millimeter 1.2 Pro lens on my EM1 Mark II and of course I have the camera on a tripod because I want to make as good as possible the image so that I have a very good image to start with and the uh, F number is 4 which I'm using and this is the scene that I will photograph. There are enough details. It's a bit overcast weather and there is slight rain so it's not perfect conditions to do but that's the way it is. Finland is a nice country but you don't want to live here because of the weather. There are many other good things but weather isn't one of them. So. This is what we got. Now I'm back at my computer in my in my small studio and I have uh, downloaded the images to my computer and here is the image, the 20 megapixel image opened up in Camera Raw. Yes, the super resolution feature is in Camera Raw and you need to have the latest version of Camera Raw and the latest version of Photoshop in order to have that feature. The way it works is that when you open up a raw file, it automatically opens up Camera Raw and then the right button on your mouse and you get this window where you have the option of super resolution. And as you can see, it will tell you how long it will take for the uh, software to uh, make that super resolution file. It's a 20 megapixel file. It will become a 60 megapixel image. And let's see how sharp it is and what the details looks like. And as you see, the image is a bit sharper than the 20 megapixel image. And for some, it might be a bit over sharpened, but I think the quality is astonishing. It, it's it's totally remarkable that you can upscale a 20 megapixel image to a 60 megapixel image. In most cases, I don't think it's the biggest thing that an, an upscaling an image is not the thing that you might do for a 20 megapixel image, unless you need a really, really huge print. I very seldom need any more than 20 megapixel because most of my images are exhibited online. So where do I need those those 60 megapixels? But there's one good uh, or, or use for this, and that is if you have cropped your image, because the photo of the <laughs> photo, the super resolution works also with TIFF files and JPEGs. But you need to set up your Photoshop so that it, the camera raw can open JPEG files, because it does not work when you're using the, um, the camera raw as a filter. And that, that's a pity. If, if it would, that would be totally great. So you wouldn't have to do any extra steps to open the JPEG image in Camera Raw. To set your Photoshop Camera Raw so that you can open JPEGs and TIFFs also in Camera Raw, just uh, open up a um, RAW file, go to the settings and file handling, and then choose the last option in both of these two drop down menus and press OK. And now if you open up a JPEG, it will open up the JPEG in Camera Raw. And here is a very interesting possibility to upscale your cropped images. If you have an image that is cropped heavily, like I have some sometimes do if, if I just have not enough reach in my lens, but I want to have a bigger file and big and more megapixels in that cropped file, then super resolution is a very good option. And let's see how much the quality differs from the cropped image versus the upscaled image. And here we have the upscaled cropped image side by side. I cropped the image to be 4.7 megapixels and 
super resolution upscaled the image to 18.8 megapixels, so roughly from 5 to 20. Roughly. And as you can see, the upscaled image is a bit more softer and there are some artifacts, so it's not might be the perfect solution, but it is good enough if we look at them side by side like this at the same size. The difference, there isn't any difference, you can't tell any difference on this. Maybe a slight difference, but not that much. That would matter actually. But if you look at them at 100%, there is a small difference, because there's some loss of detail in my opinion. But is that a big deal or not? Is the loss of detail that much that it would matter? And of course, this is just a image that has not been uh, processed in any way otherwise. Of course, the processing was the upscale, but it hasn't been edited at all. That might be a different thing if we edit those images. And let's try that. And here are the images side by side. The one on the right is the bigger file. And as you can see, there isn't or, or the difference is a bit less if you do some sharpening to the upscaled image. It looks a bit better than it looked before. And of course, the, the colors and everything looks a bit better. And I did some sharpening, as I said. And here are all the things that I did for those images. And this is from Lightroom. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the quality that Super Resolution has given me. And I will also try high resolution version and see how far or how good that is when it's upscaled to double the size, so actually four times the size. That's going to be a huge file, but it's interesting to see how good that is. if I use the super resolution on that image, it will become a 322 megapixel image with uh, about 20,000 pixels by 15,000 pixels. And that is a huge image. Let's see what it looks like and if the quality is as good as it is with the original file. And here we have the images. The one on the right is the upscaled version. And as you can see, there are some artifacts if we look at it at 100%. So it's not perfect. But I'm, as I said already, and I am very impressed what the results came out. And I think this is something that can be used if there is a need to upscale an image. And especially if you have cropped your image, then it, it's really something that might work. But there's one thing I want to try is that which one is better to crop it before upscaling or upscale first and then crop. Let's see how that goes. Okay, here we have the two images. Uh, the first one is so that I first upscaled the image from 20 megapixel to 60 megapixel and then cropped a portion of the image so that like I would have had, have had a longer telephoto lens and made it 20 megapixels. Then the other image is first cropped and then upscaled to uh, match the 20 megapixel image. If I want to have a 20 megapixel image from a, a part of the scene that I had here. And I will have to say that uh, the way to do is better is first uh, to uh, upscale the image to, to 60 megapixels and then crop part of the image to be around 20 megapixels or whatever the pixel count will be. It will give you a slightly better image. And there's one more comparison actually that I need to do. On the left side is the original 80 megapixel image and on the right is upscaled 80 megapixel image from a 20 megapixel image. And if we look at them 100%, you can see that the original is a bit better. It's not as sharp, but then the upscaled image is a bit over sharpened and you can see some artifacts. So I still say that the original is a bit better because it can be sharpened. It's not sharpened at all, so it will be better to use the original 80 megapixel, but if you need more megapixels, this can be a solution. I'm pretty impressed about the results that I got 
on this short test. It is something that can be used if, if there is a need for a bigger file, more megapixels for some reason, then this is something that you should consider testing at least if you use Photoshop. And I recommend having Lightroom and Photoshop. It's not a bad deal with Adobe. You get the photographer's pack, it's about $12 a month, which is, I think, very little money for, for what you get. And this is not sponsored by Adobe anyway. I just wanted to say because some think that Photoshop is really an expensive software, but it's not. I think it's something that you should consider getting because it has some great stuff, other great stuff too. And there's one video I'm going to make about this is to compare the super resolution from Adobe Sensei AI to uh, Topaz Gigapixel because Gigapixel is also a tool to make your image bigger and, and get some more megapixels. And I have made a video about uh, what I call Gigapixel and, and s tested it against the Olympus Hi-Res file. And that might be something that want to watch next. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.